and use your school's wellness center or recreational center, anything that they have, um, the gym, they will have like, you know, activities, hobbies. I know some school gyms have rock climbing that can mm -hmm. be fun for some people. Um, they will have events, just things to help students get back in their mental um, like wellness, make sure they're doing okay, especially during like the end of school season. So mm -hmm. look for that. Yeah, definitely. Picking back off on, on the events, um, you're paying for these events out of your tuition and fees. So make sure to take advantage of them. A lot of the times they offer either free food, t-shirts, um, and just a way to interact with other students that have also went through the stress and went through finals and, yeah. and all those type of things. So just make sure to check out for those. I do remember myself. I wish I would have took advantage of the massage therapist that would come on campus and be in the rec center, give you free 30 minute uh, massages um, sometimes even like um, they have like crafting events where yeah. you could like craft like tie-dye t-shirts and like um, build your own I don't know they just had a whole bunch of cool events that I wish yeah. I would have taken advantage of honestly okay. I would say your school's counselor um, your school's mental health uh, center schedule an appointment especially if it has started to affect your quality of life you're not eating well you're not sleeping you're anxious all the time it's just affecting you I would say try to schedule an appointment to just talk to them, get like if just a simple evaluation. Sometimes just talking to somebody can even help mm -hmm. you remove some of that stress. So use those resources again, you pay for them already with your tuition. Yes. So yeah. yeah, a lot of the times I feel like um, students don't know exactly when to ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to ask yourself like, hey, is it affecting my quality of life? How often am I feeling anxious? Am I noticing that I'm clenching my jaw when I'm sitting in class? Uh, is my heart racing as soon as I'm taking um, I'm about to take a test things like that if it's happening very frequently over and over it's time to check in yeah. um, either talk to your professor or um, go to you know seek counseling on campus or sometimes students don't want to seek counseling on campus because they feel like their business is going to be exposed to the university mm -hmm. um, there's other resources um, out there you know seek private counseling or even uh, like group counseling mm -hmm. with other fellow uh, students and, and young adults. Yeah, and I think a way to also get plugged in is to look for the your campus organizations. I know some campuses have NAMI, Mental of America. They could also have more resources that you can get plugged in from there. So see if they have an organization, go to a meeting, and they will probably be able to guide, tell you where to go if you're looking for off-campus uh, resources. And talk to your professors, like she, she mentioned. If you are starting to, it's affecting you, your classes. I know sometimes professors are scary. It seems like they don't care, but most of them do. Tell them this is what's happening and give yourself a shot before you start to fill those classes and you start to like fill those exams. So yeah. get ahead of it. Get ahead of it, definitely. And also just check in with yourself if you are feeling um, more anxious than usual. Um, take a pause. I mean, yeah. take those mental health days to really take care of yourself, practice some self-care. Uh, read a good, fun book that you enjoy, um, color, sit outside, um, you know, just make sure to take care of yourself, uh, mm -hmm. especially on those tough days. Yeah. And remember, if you don't stop, your body will force you to stop. Yes. And then it's damage control at that point. So you want to be preventative, take preventive measures and not like damage control. So listen to your body because I promise you, it's going to do what it needs to do so it can mm -hmm. recover and that's going to be worse. So just try to stop when your body tells you it's time to stop.